So the house is coming great so far. It looks awesome. But before we get too far into things, it's a good time to run some electrical. Uh, and there's a couple reasons for that. My dad has a really old panel in his house. There's Zinsco breakers. The panel's going to get switched, but they don't want to be without power in the existing house for too long. So here's the existing house. A little existing shed out back. And the electrical panel. So this house was first built decades ago, but my dad's been here for ah, four years or so. The panel, it looks like what you're seeing now. It's, it's atrocious. There's a lot of unlabeled breakers, a lot of things added on. And my dad's labeled some of it with blue tape, as you can see, uh, but a lot of it's a mystery. We're gonna get to the bottom of some of these breakers first before we really do anything else. I know you see us freely sticking our finger and our screwdrivers in the panel, don't freely stick your finger in the screwdriver in the panel. Sub panel's unhooked. Okay, we got our meter out. Glad my house is waterproof. Oh, more good splices. Dude, video of that, Jake. Damn. <laughs> that's just Woo. like we found in the bedroom wall. Exactly. Now that's a nice panel. So this one's a square D panel. Uh, it's solar ready, so this is all vented and ready for solar hookup. But yeah, same thing as the other one, just nice and new and you know to code. All that good stuff. Okay, so we're up in the trusses, old roof trusses, new roof trusses. We're gonna run our wire where it needs to go, trace what we need, and we're gonna do some splicing at the junction boxes properly. Uh, over here, they have some pretty improper splices. We'll show you that in a bit. But uh, for example, we got this wire going down between this bedroom and this bedroom. It powers wall outlets, whatever. We're going to splice this one into a wall out outlet over there just so that multiple things are on one breaker instead of having gosh it seems like there's two breakers per room right now like there's so much extra so we're going to consolidate a lot of that speaking of bad splices whoo oh man oh man there's another lovely splice just twisted the ground wire together another example come on guys Here's the best splice we have so far. No junction box, just duct tape. I'm gonna, cu I'm gonna that, cut it, Craig. That, make, that makes the Zinsco panel look safe. So we got a lot of these unnecessary wires out of the way. Uh, the ones that are going down into the wall, we have them pulled up so that we can get them, again, over these studs for when we raise the ceiling later, over the bottom of these ceiling or uh, roof trusses. We're gonna run a few wires down to the box, the new box, and run it down to where it goes into the wall and splice it together with an actual junction box, not just wires, wire nutted together and duct taped around them. Okay, time to pull some wire. My dad's got a few runs going. Okay, so far we have 12 twos and 14 twos. And then we have that black wire, which is eight. Oh, this is number two wire. And this wire is going to the sub panel that will go on the other end of the house. Uh, it runs down, it's gonna go inside that wall. and will be done later, that's for the new part of the house. But for this old part, just getting ourselves hooked back up to power, Got these runs made. We got one more run of 12-3, and then we'll be good to go. These are just lying down there for now. We're going to wire them into the panel and pull them up tight to the corner of the truss, 
and strap him in place. Got some lunch, now we're ready to get back to work. Now we are wiring our runs back together. Uh, we're going to not do the right thing and we're just going to wire nut them as they are. Again, this old part of the house, my dad, again, this old part of the house is still being lived in. So before we get all the finished electrical work done, we need to just get the lights back on, refrigerator back running. So that's what I'm doing right now. Later, we will make things permanent, nice and junction boxes and the way it should be done. Here's one of our drops for this guy right here, which I just stripped back. This is 14.2, so two wires plus a ground, hot, neutral, ground. And number 14 wire, so good for 15 amp uh, circuit. Give each one a tug. We're good. Again, temporary power. We'll get this all straightened out later and then make it permanent. But for now, got to get the lights back on. Here's our refrigerator. Here's the new panel. There's all our wires leading out to where they need to go. And there it is. Wires run all the way down to the new panel. Got this wire coming down for all of our temporary makeups. Again, these are not staying. These are not legal, not safe. But uh, for now, it gets the lights back on. Yeah, look at that. We got a bunch of crazy crap spliced together, but hey, lights are on. See? Lights are on. Yeah, buddy. Didn't show, but we did a little bit of work getting some plugs prepped. Here's another one that we got prepped. Careful, it's hot. Uh, but yeah, this one will get a GFI plug eventually, but not now. Here's the old freaking panel. And the new panel. Got our meter back in. 200 amp main is on. We are rocking. So yeah, for a lot of those home runs, or that is on here. 30 amp on as well, and 220 amps. And this is enough to keep us for a little while. Eventually we'll have AC here, and hot water. Hot water heater, there's an instant hot water heater and it uses two 40 amp breakers. Uh, quite a bit of power on that one. That's it. So again, this is just the temporary wiring for now but it's a really big step uh, because we did a whole entire panel switch out. I mean, that's a big deal. A lot more to add, a lot more breakers to add. We still got around the 100 amp uh, sub panel wire to the other side of the house. Uh, we have quite a bit of finished electrical to do, but that'll come later. We'll have another video for all of our finished electrical. Every bit of electrical that goes on in the new portions of the house. But yeah, this was awesome. So glad that we got this done today. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. We have a lot more to do on this house. I mean, it feels like we're just beginning, seriously. So uh, stick around and yeah, let's get this thing done.